Forests provide employment, food, medicine, energy for cooking and heating, shelter, a healthy environment, and a better quality of life for millions of Ugandans. Well-managed forests contribute to the country's economic development. Despite the economic, environmental, social, and cultural benefits, deforestation and forest degradation continue to take place, mainly due to conversion of forest land for agriculture and settlement and rampant felling of trees for timber, firewood, and charcoal. Between 1990 and 2017, Uganda lost about 2.4 million hectares, mostly in forests on private and communal land. In an effort to address this problem, the Government of Uganda initiated the Solo Production Grant Scheme, or SPGS project, in 2004 with support from the European Union. The European Union, together with the Government of Uganda at that point in time, understood the forestry sector in the sense that there was a growing demand for timber and other forestry products due to the growing construction industry, electricity transmission industry, and as well as other forestry products and services. This demand could not be met by the natural forests, which was the only source at the time. So together, Government of Uganda and the European Union came in to kickstart a commercial forestry subsector. The project provided grants and technical support to commercial tree growers to establish quality forest plantations. The SPGS program was quite instrumental in uh, the entire forest chain in Uganda and hence the reduction in deforestation. We started from the nurseries by getting quality seedlings and uh, setting standards for nurseries. We came to planting proper forest management plans and systems together to looking after the trees up to the stage where really they are fit for purpose. So it did not only introduce the private commercial plantation that has stem the overall uh, deforestation pattern in the country, but also brought on board quality. Phase three of SPGS was implemented by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. This phase aimed at increasing private sector investment in commercial tree planting to meet the medium and long-term demand for timber and solo products and expand wood processing in Uganda. The third phase of SPGS has been pivotal uh, to the goals of Uganda of, of increasing reforestation but also afforestation. Through the project, we have given a substantive contribution to increase the forest estate of, of Uganda, working with the private growers, also contributing to the Uganda aspirations to increase the level of forest to the pre-millennium uh, level. We've benefited in the grants that SPGS gave us, supported us in various forms. We're so grateful to plant the trees. And we also got a lot of training around forest operations, harvesting operations, value-adding operations, and all that. Some private sector investors were supported to acquire modern processing facilities to demonstrate downstream processing and catalyze investment in sustainable processing, value addition, and market development. The SPGS project increased the participation of communities and smallholders in establishing plantations. More than 240 rural community groups and about 250 public and private institutions, such as schools, hospitals, and local governments, received training, quality seedlings, and cuttings to establish woodlots for bioenergy, income generation, and climate change mitigation. Through an annual certification program, FAO and the Ministry of Water and Environment provided technical assistance and training to commercial tree nursery operators and forest contractors to encourage compliance with recommended quality standards. Certification is an important process for us. It teaches us the standards of a good planting material. 
a good planting material will give us a good tree in the field and a good tree will automatically give us a good product, whether a pole or timber or mention it. The certification process of uh, seedling production has been probably the best decision made by SPGS program. You know, there are very strict rules and I put it very clear to you that uh, you get the wrong seedlings, you are going to live with it for so long. Through the project, we were able to address issues of commercial forestry in forestry training. Originally, we were concentrating on natural forest management, but after project intervention, modules that address issues of commercial forestry, like uh, tree nursery and seed, plantation establishment and maintenance, and logging and harvesting were added in the training and the content enriched. The SPGS project transformed the forestry sector in Uganda. It attracted substantial investment into timber plantations from small to large-scale growers, even in the semi-arid Karamoja region, where commercial tree growing is uncommon. Research provides guidance on what quality standards, on what species, what environment, what requirements are necessary for a tree grower out there to get the product he needs at the end of time. So our target was to do kind of site species matching in terms of the climatic conditions, but also targeting to have these people in these areas be able to plant trees. So our role as research and with support from SPGS was to establish multi-location trials. And so far, it's amazing when you visit Karamoja, Everyone is amazed that Karamoja can grow these trees. Commercial forestry probably before this report started was not considered as a viable business. Looking back, it is now considered as a viable business because a lot of work has been done also on, uh, at plantation level, but also on uh, studies, on standards, uh, on bringing the private sector on board. So there is a very, very solid foundation. Since 2004, about 80,000 hectares of high-quality plantations have been established and large areas of previously degraded land have been restored. In phase three alone, more than 28,000 hectares were added to Uganda's forest cover. SPGS has promoted uh, restoration of degraded areas, mainly by targeting restoration of big areas which have been degraded. SPGS project has been able to support UTGA to establish a demo merchant timber yard. Uh, we believe that that is a starting point for the growers to come and learn uh, modern processing um, operations. SPGS has also been able to support um, the industry by helping UTGA to develop a market uh, application which is going to help link us the producers with the market. So if you ask me what could be strengthened moving forward, more value addition, more product orientation, uh, also more market analysis and linkages at the regional level which then could be reflected maybe in revised policies and regulation that would allow the Ugandan products to be also exported better in the region but also probably looking forward a, a sort of better synergy between conservation efforts and commercial forestry. I could look at this and also very importantly uh, looking at the innovative financial instruments that can bring forward the work that has been done until now and leverage on international finance that exists and that could benefit also this market in, uh, in Uganda. I strongly believe that the world needs more interventions similar or even more strategic of, with the SPGS. Because we're seeing a growing uh, population whose need uh, when it comes to wood products continue to increase. This puts a lot of pressure on the natural resource. Hence, uh, the contribution of SPGS in terms of, of, of uh, forestation will help reduce uh, the degradation, but at the same time provide the resources that people in Uganda and worldwide need in terms of, of uh, energy, but also uh, wood, wood products.
FAO continues to provide technical assistance in the forestry sector in Uganda for better production, better environment, and a better life for all those who rely on forests.